Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'll grab the cat food. You grab the pig food. That stuff is heavy. I got a bad back. You got bad knees. Together, we're not a good combination. Anyway, good morning and welcome to today's video. Sam and I went to the mall yesterday and we were shopping, we did a lot of shopping. He had my phone and was changing my phone so I wasn't with him and I didn't have my phone. The girls left us to go to Sephora. So I basically was by myself in the mall. I had the worst time. So after I left Sam changing my phone, I stopped at a phone case store in the mall and I said to the guy like, I'm looking for a phone case that's super, super protective. I wanted something that would protect the, um... <laughs> look it, hi. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do something today? Do you need me? Don't worry, I'll come. You'll be looking chunky. Anyways, so I wanted something to protect the camera and the front. And I said, like, so I'm looking for something super protective. And he said, oh, well, we don't have anything like that. And I said, like, do they make them? Because we used to, like, in the olden days, they used to have really good phone cases that literally surrounded your whole phone. Like, the girls just use phone cases that slide on. And it doesn't hardly protect anything. Like the phone cases nowadays are awful. So I said, do they make them anymore? And he said, no. And I said, oh, is that because phones already come like with a screensaver on them? And he said, no, phones don't come with a screensaver on them. And so then I was like, oh, well some do. And he said, no, none do. And I said, well, my phone had, came with a screen protector. And he said, no, you probably got it put on at the store. I said, no, it specifically comes with a screen protector. And he said, no, no phones do. And then I was like, okay. Look, oh, you missed it. He was using, they were using that little stand. Anyway, so then I'm like, okay. Like he didn't ask me what phone I had. He didn't like he was a salesperson. And he was like angry-ish that I was saying that my phone had a screen protector when obviously it couldn't because no phones have screen protectors. So anyways, I said, I had that fold phone and it they come and with the screen protector and so do the flip phones. And he said, oh yeah, they do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. I'm so used to like surrounding myself with the same like-minded people, the people who like I relate to, that when I meet somebody that's like so different from me, it's hard for me. But anyways, I just tried to just like let it go because who cares? That was me though. I would have been like, Oh, sorry, you're right. They did two phone, uh, two di specific phones, special phones do come with them. And, but no, he just, <laughs> anyways, I just let it go. Like, I I'm sure you guys agree, that was not a big deal. That's the start of my day at the mall. It gets, it gets better. So then I get to Sephora and we're ready to check out. I go up and the lady's obviously frustrated and she's like not in a super good mood. And she says, did you have help today? And I say, yes. And she says, okay, from who? I said, um, I don't know. Like, I don't, I've never met her before. <laughs> like, I don't know. So then, obviously they're supposed to say their name. Maybe they're supposed to say their name. I don't know. But <laughs> she's mad at me because I didn't tell her, her my, the person that helped me's name. I don't know though. Like, in the old days, <laughs> when we went shopping, we just went up to the cash register and paid. We didn't have to like, ask the people their name. I thought, well, maybe I'm just an idiot and I should have been like looking at everybody's name tags and noticing and I should just know this stuff. So then I looked at her, her name tag and she had one and it was right here, completely covered by her hair. Like you could just barely see it. And I get that though. Like working in a store, why would you want to let everybody know your name? Like even just your first name. It's too dangerous of a world to be like sharing private information. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But anyways, so then I was like kind of getting frustrated. Like, what the heck? I've turned into like a terrible shopper. And you're probably thinking, it's not that big of a deal, Laura. Just let it go. But then we were walking down the mall. Here, Posey. Eat up, Missy. And you know how they stand outside their stores and they're like, hey. Here's something for free. So we're walking and this man is inside like this beauty store. Clearly I'm not a beauty person. And he says to me, oh here, have some free soap. And he gives me this little bag with this little tiny heart shaped soap. 
And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And I take it because I know Gabby would love it. So I give it to Gabby and I said, here, Gabby, have a heart. And she says, oh, thanks. And then he says, can I ask you a question? And we're still kind of walking. And I said, sure. And he says, what do you use on your face? He says, what do you use on your face? Okay, I don't know that's a trick question. <laughs> oh, I said, water. <laughs> because I personally believe that all that stuff we were putting on our faces, like all these kids going through this Sephora stage, man, like it's not good for you. I, the only stuff I put on my skin are things that I would eat. Come on, we're going outside. Oh, come on. So basically like I'll use coconut oil on my skin and my one doctor tells me to use olive oil. He's Italian. <laughs> but he tells me to put like on rashes when the kids have a rash and stuff like that. He's like, I'll put olive oil on it. You'll be shocked at how good it is for you. I don't ever put soap on my face and I don't ever put anything on my face or on my skin that I wouldn't eat. So back to the story. He says, what do you use on your face? And I said, oh, water. And he says, oh, come here, let me help you. <laughs> and I'm like, um, I'm good, <laughs> thank you. Like, I don't know, I felt like he kind of shamed me. Like, oh no, you're a mess because you're not doing the right things. Like, I don't know, I got this age doing it my way, like being safe and being careful of my skin. Like I purposely only use water on my skin or I only use things on my skin that I can eat. Anyways, after that we left. I was so frustrating. Like it was just like one thing after another. I was just, and I know it was my fault because you just have to look away when people, you meet people that aren't of the same mind frame of you as you or the people that you don't really connect with or say things that are not something, they just don't share the same values that you do. It's okay to just be like, no, thank you and walk away. But it's been a while since I had three episodes all in a row of people being upset with me because it's been a really long time. I mean, on social media, yeah, that is just a normal thing. But in real life, I don't usually struggle. But yeah, I struggled yesterday. But the man telling me, oh, come here, let me help you. <laughs> it's kind of the icing on the cake. So we left. Sadly, I still have a ton of Christmas shopping to do, but Amazon is honestly looking better and better. Comment below if you've had a shopping experience that didn't sit well with you or it made you feel unsettled because i know we all have yeah so i'm trying to protect you we're surrounded by goats and dogs who all want your food anyway it is time to go and wake up the girls because today is the day that i have planned for us to all work together and improve something on this farm and today we're working on the chicken coop oh no i have a goat on my back pigs are literally going to be the death of me they take so long to eat and you have to protect them and then while you're protecting them, you're attacked by goats. Get, go, get, get. Okay, hurry up, last bite, come on. Fast, fast, fast. Let's get them in the barn. Come on, we're not about to manhandle you. There's Posey running, it's so cute. <laughs> so today is the first day. <laughs> that we're gonna manhandle my boy pig and we're gonna cut his hooves. It's time. We're gonna wrap him up in Posey's blanket. Oh my gosh, get out of here. This is not your house. Come on, out, out. Come on, out. Go, go, go. See, if you like, you can hurt a pig. There we go. It's actually freezing out. Okay, get the goats out and then we'll do the pig. Okay, so this is the plan. I have to cut the hooves, so you guys are gonna have to wrap them up in that blanket and we're gonna put them over on his back. Oh, Dad, How do you wrap them up when... Just come on, like it's easy. You just drop the blanket on top of them and then wrap them up. <laughs> drop the blanket and wrangle. <laughs> the cat runs. You drop the blanket. I'm frozen, so let's get moving. What are we doing? There's always someone who doesn't pay attention. I know what we're doing, but what is the reason for this? I have to trim his hooves. All right. Throw it. <laughs> Just tackle him. I swear, I swear I'm going to have to do it because why are you laughing? Get in there and help. She's got on my sweater so that 
Sophie's a Sophie's the best man handling. <laughs> I got him here. I got him here. We're in three people. You're in there. You're in, Gabby. Come on, open. Go. Go. Gabby, you have to. I'm going to have to do it because I just feel like I'm the only competent person in this farm. Oh, grab it. I might be my pants. I missed that badly. <laughs> Sam! Oh, all right, you want me to do it? Corner him. I'll get him cornered and then you guys have to hold him. You don't want to corner him right by the okay. door. Well, I caught him. Okay, you caught him. Hit him up tight. Roll on your back. Roll on your back, Sophie, roll on your back. Roll on your back. This is just roll on your back. Roll on your back. You gotta roll him on his back. Oh my god. Get his nails. All right. Here. Put him on his back. Okay, roll on his back. Here he goes. On his, on me. Why on me? Lay down, Sophia. Up this way. You gotta do it. Oh. You're so stupid. Sophie, just grab him on his butt. Up to me. Grab him. Flip over He's on your so back. He's so fat. He's not laying on me. I'm by the feet. Grab him by the feet. And Ellen, just flip him over. Oh. <laughs> God, you okay. suck. Okay. okay, we're not doing this and the chicken coop today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> he's he's back! I'm out of the feet. I'm out of the butt. <laughs> As he flips himself over. Okay, don't, like... It hurts! Okay, now you can push yeah. the door. <clears throat> How do they do this? They just do it. They're very strong. <laughs> I'm probably grind him down. No, do you think we could put him in the chicken thing? The chicken, chicken thing. He's okay. You're okay. In the goat thing. It's okay. What are you talking about? Yeah, in the goat thing. He doesn't have a neck. Grab him and flip him over. Look it. He's okay with me. Well, okay. He's well, he's trapped. Let me see if he'll so. let you do his feet. If you just let me do your feet. Oh my God, he's so much bigger than Posey. Oh, he's tired. Like, Me too. Oh. We'll corner him, Sophia. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you Sophia, missed you're your our chance. Best you try. Oh, I'm gonna get him. They can. That's okay. She couldn't even pick up her own. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, help! Help! <laughs> help! Here, give me a blanket. Alright, we gotta flip him. That's the gotta, problem. You know what we gotta do? We gotta call my sister and get her over here. We gotta and help find a the midget. Pig. We can have a midget wrestling competition <sighs> with the pig. <laughs> This is what you call a pig in the blanket. Pig in the blanket. We got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, Sam, help! Sam, help! Just stay like that. I don't like this. Just stay like that, quick. Stay like that. I don't like this. Sam, get me out, Rob. Stop! All right, we got him, we got him. Just stay like that and help again. I know, you're crushing my ribs, too. Is this your boyfriend, Sophie? We caught her. Okay, just stay like that. Just stay calm. Just Help. stay calm. Rub his uh, belly, maybe. I don't know. Rub his belly? No. <laughs> we did it. We're doing good. You're we all got gonna it. Take lit. So, Gabby, I love the way you helped. You're making his nails sharper, it looks like. Well, you know, we're bonding over here. We're cuddling. <laughs> That's him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy breathing going on here. Sophie. That's why I said before, you gotta roll on your back. I don't want to. <laughs> you owe me something, Mom. Yeah. Christmas cake. No. No I want... one likes Christmas cake. I don't even know what that is. I want Jolly Ranchers. It's Christmas cake. It's, it's a hard rock piece of cake with... It's the cake that has all the, all the cherries stuff and stuff. You know, he's actually oh, cuddly. That's what... <laughs> he's really he's warm. actually cuddly. That's he's my guest, and I was like, is that the stuff with the, is that the cake with all the stuff in it? And I was like, no. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Well, there we go. He's calm now that he's on his back. <laughs> my head hurts. I feel bad that we stressed him out, but <coughs> I mean, no. 
<laughs> At least we got his that back beat then. Stop laughing, <laughs> Does he like me now? We were kind of like. <laughs> oh, Candy. <sighs> All right. Well, I got a couple. Of, I got the back. Yeah, you're beat. really slow. <laughs> Why did you let him go? Because Tell I me. was getting kicked in the gut. <laughs> Alright, so we have take two. I don't want to do that again. Before you come for me corner. for laughing, the remember corner. I laugh Laura. in the Stand in the corner. I Ooh. laugh in the Stand in that corner. I'm not sitting in the face face corner. Of danger. Oh, when I get nervous, I just laugh. I just laugh hysterically. I don't want to do this. Why are you nervous? Just roll. Why I'm nervous? No, mom. Oh. Pretend there's a fire. I feel bad for roll. him. Stop I can't stop roll. roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Here we go. Get in that corner. I'll get this way. He's not listening. Hold the door. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Aww. There, grab him, flip him upside down. You got him. My, that's awful. I can't see. Well, quick. Well, hurry up. Be fast. Anyone would be faster than you, even me. You have to do it slow. Because you have to. I don't like this pig. I love him. He's being he's cuddly though. You would like it. He's being so good. Yeah, Posey's cuddly. cuddly. So that's what you call a pig and blanket? That's why I thought you were talking about me. Saying I'm <laughs> I thought you were talking blanket. about Sophie. <laughs> I was Gosh. under the pig. Yeah, I'll have to get I saw Let him sit in the corner. Let him think about his decisions. <sighs> Stop! Yeah! Shh. Oh, flip him. Just grab him I don't even have him. Oh, he got loose. <coughs> so, yeah, I think you should just tap him. What are you having? Well, then do it yourself. Okay. All right, I'll try and pull him back on me, but then somebody wow, else. Wow, what a pig whisperer. I think we should all agree that we'll hire somebody to come into his feet in his tusks. Like the vet? Uh, there's other people that will come into it. We can, the vet can, the, yeah, our... We should look for that. All right, I already saw it. I've seen it before. All right. So did I. All right, good boy. Let me get you a treat. Thanks for your help, masked girl. There you go. You have that. It's okay. We're done. Oh yeah. So, in good news, his feet are not big at all. Like I've seen other pigs that have big, huge, long, overgrown feet, because I've been able to keep them trimmed a little bit all throughout the summer. They're not even too long. But my idea is that if I can get him used to it. I can trim their nails like every every few weeks and then keep them so that they don't grow long and then keep them from having like one big huge bad thing. So anyway his little baby toes are a little bit long. Those are the ones that I really wanted to get. That, conclu that concludes this episode of Pig Wrestling 101. Everyone was so concerned. Usually Posey's like screaming whenever she hears me but not this time she's like are you okay friend don't worry i love you all the goats are terrified they heard us laughing hysterically she literally never ever gives him the time of day and she went right over there and she put her nose to him she's like i'm sorry don't you know that you're beautiful?